said that you might not be interested in war but the war is interested in you that is how we have been and i i cease to accept that we humans are so small that we can't live without that but then there are people who just every now and then come into power who just believes that taking over a land for force is going to come up with something good at the end it never happens look at any tyrant look at any dictator they all went for conquest why did they all went for conquest they all went for conquest because a dictator has to keep in chain thousands and sometimes millions and sometimes billions of people they are going to have surveillance on that they are going to make sure if someone is against the government they are going to make sure if there is some uprising against the government they have to monitor that is that free of cost no somebody is going to do that for you so you'll have to pay that person so it is super costly you have to run propagandas maybe maybe you will be slaughtering a certain class of people and then you will be saying that uh, no we're not really doing that but you hate because you you freaking racist man so these dictators their problem so obviously you will be running propaganda machines no, no we are not really doing that it's just that people are saying different things and there are some haters and they do not want the progress of this nation so we are just going to run the propaganda machine feed them with bullshit information so it's not free of cost people are working to create that propaganda you're tele- telecasting that propaganda it costs money so sooner or later dictators are always going to run out of money and when they do they try to find money somewhere else and that is the neighboring countries that is the simple thing that we have seen happen for so long and as long as dictators are there or there's there's no democracy a proper democracy in a country or in all the countries there's a problem until that point we need army we need military forces to defend our democracy but here's here's what i want to end it with i i started to realize that it went completely in different direction i don't even remember where i came here from and i don't even know how long i've been talking about this but i hope that you have not, you have liked it <laughs> ultimately a democracy will win this is what i believe it is a machine that is going to continue on expanding you know why because democracy itself stands for demo that means people run by the people that is the problem of dictators one person cannot manage or control thousands and billions of people rather you have to leave it to the freedom of people decide let them decide wh- how they want to live and give them the freedom give them the choice let them live the way that they want to live that is the only way for you to have progress otherwise all your uh, resources are going to continue on going and controlling those people and there is going to be no creativity because those people are not free the first day i entered bhabha atomic research center i still remember there was a gigantic poster of uh, dr homi bhabha and down below there was a quote that said scientists are to be left free a person who is not free is never going to be creative that person is chained so that person is going to live its entire life thinking about how i escape this chain free and safe people will be creative and they are going to increase the standard of living or they are going to take the humanity to the next step and that is why ultimately people are going to be free there might be a lot of bloodshed there might be a lot of people who would have to suffer there would be wars a huge percent of population might die because at the end when these dictators are pushed to the corner they are going to do anything to survive look at hitler what he did in his final hours he said that every man child uh, alive will be will be defending the country he said that right now germans are dying it is the fault of german people what the hell how is it fault of them you started this war you are so oblivious that you can't even accept the fact that this is your fault you know what he said before he died at least we fought the jews without trying to hide it to anyone we fought it fought them head on this is the kind of mentality a dictator will burn its own land just to rule over the ashes 
so when a dictator is pushed to a corner it will do anything ultimately it will not survive look at the story or the history of any dictator stalin died being the leader of ussr but you know how he died he had brain hemorrhage and there was no doctor over there alive to treat him because he was so paranoid that he killed number one all his generals and all the top doctors and when he needed them the most there was no one so any kind of uh, autocratic rule is going to perish sooner or later but unfortunately we still have huge part of world with the same problem and you and i are not going to see the entire world free that is the sad part but democracy being the machine it is it is going to do its job and it is going to have a lot of sacrifices along the way free people are going to already free people have died and uh, we have seen the numbers as high as millions in world war 2 but somehow we have gotten ourselves better there are some ups and downs fluctuations but i believe that it is going to keep on if you if you look at it in the long term it is always going to be better sorry for that man but uh, i'm going to i'm going to take few questions that were related to uh, this very topic asked by someone by the way currently also there's a question 